<laughs> Hi everyone, Hello. welcome in. welcome to this live stream that I'm doing with Books and Ola. And we are <laughs> we are um two very iconic characters uh from the 1996 horror film Scream, if anyone doesn't know. And um yeah, we uh I'm the before. I'm I'm the before Casey Becker while she's still alive. And Kayla is the after after she's been uh, dragged through the grass. <laughs> I'm the Casey Becker who got caught in the rain or was trying a new hairstyle or something happened because I lost I lost my bob wig. This is all I had. I last night at midnight I was chopping it off because it was down to here. I was like I gotta do something, and uh, here we are. The commitment though, the absolute commitment. We we appreciate it. We do. We appreciate it. It's literally time to. Do what we do best, Kayla, and that is read and play games and be social too, which I didn't realize is something that we could be good at. I don't but... know if that's a talent of mine, but... <laughs> well, we, we try our best anyway. Oh, actually, I was watching your recent video. Did you say you did like 13 live streams or something in the last 90 days? Apparently, that's just what I do with my life. That's lit. Well, that is social. That's very social. That's more social than I could do. I can't, I've never met 13 people in the last <laughs> few days. So. I'm social from the safety of my own living room. <laughs> I guess that's a, a good little, uh, what's the word, a compromise with all of the social interacti interactivity. Yeah, we'll go with that. The wigs are iconic. The wigs just tell a story on their own. They're special. I didn't even need to actually introduce who we were supposed to be. You guys already know. You guys noticed from looking at us. And hope you are feeling better, Kayla. How are you feeling? I'm not feeling better at all, but I can fake it. Yeah, for Friday the 13th. I've got some good tea in here, and hopefully I will feel better by the end. Yes, you, you should do. I, you should do. We're going to have such a chilled, relaxed, but also kind of fun time. You know Are we playing I mean? games? Yeah, we're playing games. That's so, not I, chill. I am not chill. <laughs> I'll this, tell you right now. Yeah, this first game might be a little bit, um, not exactly long, but there is something you have to learn about it first, so we'd have to do a test and then do the game, which might be a little bit time-consuming, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Casey Becker yeah. does have a beard and chest hair. That's if she lived. This is, this is how she would look in her 40s. Even though I'm not even 40, I'm 30s. Oh my God, why have I aged myself Why up? did you just age yourself like that? <laughs> I'm 31, but I'm not, I'm not my 40s. Oh. I'm from Paris, oh my God, oh, I need to stop doing that. It randomly does the emoji thing, even if you're not trying, just like your webcam tries to murder you. I'm haunted. <laughs> you're haunted. I feel the ghosts from Chillingham Castle have haunted you instead of me. That's all right. Fun. I'll take it. Um, oh, hi, Meg. <laughs> well, I mean, scary twins. Yeah, that's that's what we wanted. That we wanted to go for that. We wanted uh, some kind of costume <laughs> that would tie us together. You know, two besties out here for a scream, it's essentially. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Uh, I mean, this is true, but most of mine are just like watching things. <laughs> I like doing streams where we watch something. It's because I don't get to watch things with anyone these days. So, mm -hmm. um, but let's just have a little scroll through. Uh, we found our twenty twenty four looks. I don't know about that. I don't know, but I haven't. I will one. I haven't put on this blouse thing since I dressed as Casey Becker last year. And let me tell you, it's definitely getting tight. It's getting tight around the tits and the pits. So I don't know. I think I'm just growing. <laughs> I couldn't put my sweater on from last year because sitting here for three hours in a sweater did not mm. seem like a good idea. With the wig on, I just know I would start sweating. <laughs> That's why you need to come to the UK because it is freezing again. It's actually gone so dramatically cold. I thought I would um, be too hot in this. No, absolutely not. I'm freezing. I am, I'm Tatum Riley in the garage right now. The jigsaw voice. Do you want to play a game? I can't tell the jigsaw voice. It's that was so, so manly. <laughs> uh, just your way. I can be very manly when I want to be. 
<laughs> saying that is with a blonde wig on. Mm -hmm. The V-neck. <laughs> mm -hmm, the V-neck. Oh my gosh. I need to I need to cover up. This is too this is too risky for YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I have a little ghost face in the in the background too for anyone who spots him lurking behind us, ready to um ghost, ready to give us a phone call. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe maybe one might happen during the stream. How <laughs> Kayla's so scared. <laughs> uh, how was the castle? The castle was good. The castle was very good. It was uh, scarier than the first time. Because I try to do things that I didn't do the last time, like go into the woods at night. I try to do the devil's walk at night. I try to stay in the twin room, the demonic twin room, uh, for a reading sprint. It, I just, I, I felt braver, but more scared in a way. So, it's, oh, it's not on the thirteenth in Australia. I apologize. I apologize. Oh, yeah. uh, but oh, thank you so much for joining. Uh, what the screen film rankings? Okay, I I feel like I've heard Kayla's before, but I don't know if I quite agree with it because I, from what I remember, did you prefer the second one over the first one? Yeah, I don't remember the rest of my rankings though. I think it went two one, and then I don't remember what I even said. Probably like four three or three four. I, I think really you remember, and I haven't seen the most recent one either. Hmm. Um, the most recent one isn't one of my favorites, so you don't need, you don't have to rush that. You don't have to rush to get it, I think. But mine is definitely the first one's my favorite, and then kind of goes after that numerically. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it just goes down after the first one. But I do love them all. I love them all at some point. Yeah, they're uh, special. Mm -hmm. um, and also, if anyone wants to let us know what they're reading or doing during these sprints, and yeah, I have a, a couple of options that I need to try and finish. But we'll see how we get on. We'll see how we get on. Kayla, what are you what are you reading? I mean the death I gave him, which is a Hamlet inspired sci-fi mystery. Um, I'm a little over halfway through and I'm not really loving it. Mm. But I'm excited to finish it. I am blogging it, so all of my thoughts will be available at some point. I really literally just saw the the thing you've put under your name, Dollar Store Casey. <laughs> I only just saw that now. <laughs> uh, I haven't read the book that you mentioned, but I'm praying it turns itself around in the last half. We don't want a bad book. Not at all. I, I feel like I'm I'm doing a bit better than you right now, I guess, in terms of finding something that I enjoy. Um, so I'm in the middle of two books. I'm reading Death of a Bookseller by... Alice Slater. I'm reading that next week. Oh my god. Unofficial buddy read. Oh How my god. How far in are you? I'm only <laughs> I'm only 38 pages in. Okay. So I guess you don't really know if you're liking it yet. Not really. I mean, I'm getting a vibe for the main characters so far. So uh, I like how the vibes they're giving me. I like how weird uh, one of them in particular is. It's giving me uh, such an excitement for what could possibly unfold so i'm keeping that like so uh vague because yeah i, I don't want to spoil anything but i mean i am liking the start of it because it also reminds me of when i worked in a bookstore myself so it gives me oh gosh i remember when i did this at waterstones all that and i like it i'm going to continue I, I will continue but i think what i'm most likely going to read in this because i really want to finish it today is out there screaming edited by jordan peele um i um, nine, no, I have nine stories left. I've read 11 of them. And so far, my average for the stories, because I'm reading them out of 10, is 6.86 out of 10. So I feel like it's really good because there's been some eights and nines and some not as like amazing, but I still have nine left to go. And it's pretty much at like a seven out of 10, which is like a four, four, out of ten, four or five for me kind of thing. So I'm excited to finish that one as well. So I think I'm going to go for Out There Screaming. In this. I'm so jealous. I'm reading it. I'm not reading it until February because it's going to be the Literally Dead Book Club pick for next year. And I see everybody reading it. I'm so sad that I'm not reading it, but it's fine. You, yeah, but you're holding out. So you're going to hear everyone's... Well, actually, hopefully you don't hear everyone's opinions because, you know, you wouldn't want to 
any kind of influence on your own because I try and avoid sometimes if I'm immediately reading something because I don't really want to be influenced by someone's negative or really positive review mm -hmm. so I feel like yeah. anthologies also are just like so all over the place like there are going to be stories you hate and ones that you love so even if it's a mixed bag there, there's going to be something positive to talk about and something negative to talk yes. about and that's gonna be fun yeah I think I actually I don't think I've ever read an anthology since I was a kid from what I can recall, I, I don't usually gravitate towards them. So this is my first one in such a long time. And I feel like I do need to read more of them because, yeah, you're absolutely right. There are some that have just blown me away and some that haven't as much. But it doesn't matter because there is still something for everyone, you know? There's still a little bit something for everyone. Yeah, and you get introduced to so many authors and then you can figure out yeah. which ones you want to read full books from. Mm -hmm. And some of, them, some of them I have read. Um, and their stories have been very good. So I'm like, yay. It kind of makes me feel better knowing that, oh, they're one of my favorite authors. So they've put out a really good story in this. Rouge by Mona Award. Wait, is it Rouge or Rogue? I don't know. How Rouge. To Rouge, okay. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. No, I heard Gabby in one video say Rogue, and I was like, Gabby. <laughs> uh, Gabby, I hope you know now if you're watching. How dare you? Uh, Rena Loving Monstrelio. I do want to read that one after the uh, Literally Dead Book Club. Um, I know you guys enjoyed. Clara it's a good one. I don't know if it's something I would recommend as like the mm. spooky season read because mm. it's like slow and literary and really sad. But mm. It's good. I know. I'm really getting into the kind of literary side of things recently. So I feel like I could potentially enjoy it, honestly. Uh, in my dreams, I hold a knife. I need to get back into reading all of these hyped horror and thrillers that I've been putting off for such a long time. The Cursed Among Us. Honestly, Kayla, when I tell you, I don't think I've given a five star this year at all. I don't have any favorite books so far this year. What? I know. I'm as devastated as you are. But <laughs> do you feel like your do you feel like your video projects are hindering that? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I, it's hard because I focus so much on one series in particular this year that I feel like took away from my reading outside of that genre. And I'm kicking myself now because I'm at a point where I caught up on that series, but now I've, I've given nearly a year of my life to that. And now I don't know what to do about end of year content. I'm just like, I, I don't I didn't love pretty much nearly everything that I've read outside of that, essentially. There've been some that I have liked and probably given four stars. Nothing that I've loved. Maybe Nothing. you need to do like a catch-up series at the end of the year where like you do mm. a series of videos where you read all the stuff that you wish you had read throughout the year, like new releases and stuff like that. Yeah. That it's so good. hard to balance like content versus mm -hmm. actual reading that you yeah. want to read. If we could hire editors, I feel like we would have more time to do that. If I wasn't such a control freak, it would change mm -hmm. my life to have someone editing my videos. Like, I would have all the time in the world. Oh, my God, same. The amount of times I would have, because, honestly, I have had people email about editing, and it's so lovely. But if I ever send raw footage to someone, and they watch it, and they say me burp or something, or toot, you just don't know what's going to happen. Exactly. In the I'm, I'm mortified to think somebody might see that. Sometimes I walk off camera and I don't have pants on. And then, <laughs> like, I'm editing it and I'm like, my whole ass is right there. And if I sent that footage to someone, <laughs> it would, like, how do you trust a person? I can't imagine. Or, like, when I repeat myself four times and I'm like, mm. you're the stupidest person alive. Yeah. And then I say it again. Somebody having that footage would be crazy. Oh, no, tell me about it. Seriously, because I, I feel like um, I do like to be all natural and things roll off the tongue. But I trip up on my words so much mm -hmm. that I have to start the sentence again because I think it'll be a nightmare in editing if I try and splice that together. So let's just start again. So that just makes the raw footage just balloon. And yeah, if, if someone says that, how are they going to know which take to use mm -hmm. all the time? It's like, ah, I don't know. I don't know, Frankenstein. Wait, you have you read Frankenstein? uh yes yes i have okay because i know you read uh, dorian gray and enjoyed that i was like we need we need more gothic classics on your channel 
ASAP. I also did um, the Frankenstein graphic novel a couple years ago. That's like one of the only graphic novels I've ever read. I know you said that in an alternate timeline, you would read some Junji Ito. I know Junji Ito has, and I enjoyed it as well, like he's done Frankenstein, like his own twisted version of it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. There's a lot of Frankenstein out there. Well, when it comes, oh, it's better goosebumps. Nice. Yeah, everyone's reading such seasonal things. I love it. Yeah. Me too. Uh, but speaking of goosebumps, next Friday, me and Ali from Hallback Order are going to do what me and Kayla are doing, but we're going to do R.L. Stein. So if anybody wants to see us do R.L. Stein next Friday, uh, same time, I think, wait, I think same time, same place, but we'll, we will see. I'm just like, Aaron, how? You oh. haven't given a five star this year. Oh. Aaron is struggling. It's, you know what, it's hard out there on these booktube streets. It's really hard out there to give, uh, you know, genuine, thoughtful reviews of things that you really like. Because there have been times when I've given a four star and I'm thinking, should I just give it a five star? Because, like, why not? Why am I giving it a five star? But then I'm just like, no, I, you know when it's a five star. You don't have to question it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been in a couple, like, there was a month or two drought that I was in for a five star, and I had the exact same thought, because I had read, like, 40 books and given out so many four stars, and I started mm -hmm. to think, like, maybe I just don't know what a five star is, does some of these deserve a five star, and mm -hmm. then I read a five star, and I was like, no, I know exactly what a five star feels like, you'll get there eventually, I promise. Yeah, maybe I need to do some experimentation, and just be like, hmm, what is a five star to me in 2023? Because it's not the same as me in 2017 or 2018 or 2019 it's totally different as you say it's like hmm interesting i know you've done a five star audit right i've seen some people do five star audits you but... should do that try to categorize all your five stars and see what they have in common mm -hmm. that the little tbr i know your your blogs are so much more like extravagant and involved so i don't know me recommending like just do a video where you read five star predictions probably sounds so silly <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I need to take myself away from like the big project things like oh reading all the goosebumps, reading all the value free of the dog, reading all of this, reading all of that. So like, I need to remove myself from that in a way. But I feel like 2024 is gonna be different because I only have one goosebumps series left to read, which is the Slappy World series. I'm gonna do that next week. And then after that, it's like maybe 2024 is the year I reclaim my booktube bussy. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know what else to say for that. I wanted a word that began with B. I'm like, hmm, booktube mojo? No. <laughs> Just get, get back to get back to casual. Booktube. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm doing a secret thing right now that I'm trying to be casual with that Ooh. I want to get uploaded at the end of the month. So I am trying it this month with everything else going on. We'll see if that works, and if not, it it won't come to light. I haven't told anyone about it, so if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And you guys won't know because I haven't said what it is. So I know that's like me with my, I really messed up because I told people, because I can't keep my mouth shut. Yeah. I, I've i been doing a five star, like reading romance until I get a five star. I've been working on this blog for five months. Wow. But I have, I didn't tell anybody at first because I was like, if I never get a five star, I don't have to tell anybody. Mm -hmm. But now I've told people. So now the video has to come out eventually. And like, <laughs> it's all just me being like, it was fine. It was fine. I don't like romance anymore. I don't know. Oh, no. Yeah, because you will get the comments. Where is this? You you mentioned this on this date at this yeah, time. Where I'm is waiting. it? Show the receipts. Where are, Where is it? Uh, uh, Going to miss next Friday. No worries. Uh, we, uh, Friday the 13th is very special. I hope people did take time off work today. Because I, I wouldn't want to risk it as well. I wouldn't want to risk going into work and having something unlucky happen. You know, it's, it's not the vibe we're going for for an actual Friday the 13th. Stay indoors. Lock your doors. You know? <laughs> it's I was saying before we started, I look more like a man in a wig than Gavin does. <laughs> it's it's not really true. special. I feel really special over here. It's not true. You Well, for one, you don't have a beard. Two, you don't have all of this, which, again, I need to pull this You up. don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I do actually have one black chest hair, just like I have one black chin hair. It just, like, uh -huh. pops up. And every time it appears, it's, like so long and you're like how was this growing for so long before i noticed oh wow 33 33 oh so at least we're not um 40 like i try to make me 
Hey, go to the cabin in the woods. Do it. It's always a fun time. Uh, oh, watching the Fiesta movies. I say a lot of people actually watching things. I saw someone say, I know what you did last summer. Kayla, have you watched I Know What You Did Last Summer? I live for I Know What You Did Last Summer. It's one of my all time favorites. Oh, well, you know what we should do next year? We should do I Know What You Did Last Summer live scream as well. Okay. We should do, we should do, should we do different characters this time or be the same? Oh, I don't know. I like to match. I don't know if we could, well, not, sorry. I don't know if I could personally pull off the hotness of any of the characters in that movie. I don't think that would be fair. Like, I kind of have Drew Barrymore's face, so this just feels right. I don't but, think you're like, perfect for Casey Becker, honestly. <laughs> you just, you are Drew Barrymore. You are Drew Barrymore. Well, we, we'll work out something. We should do this annually. We'll work out something. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay, right, before we do our first sprint, um, I do want to say that after this, we'll be doing a first game, and probably sprint after that, but depends on how long this first game is, to be honest. I didn't I didn't really work it out all that well, um, but I oh, I agree. Like, you could be Helen Shivers. You could be Sarah Michelle Gellar. I can see it happening. It's just that dress. Like, I wouldn't know where to get that dress from, for one. And it's very revealing as well, so mm, maybe not. <laughs> I could we'll be think. the I could be the killer. You just not see my face the entire time. I just carry a hook around. <laughs> Maybe not. I would want you to speak, but I feel like that killer doesn't speak. He yeah, doesn't no. really say much until the end. But yeah. Uh, how is Aaron? Um, booked and busy. Booked and busy. And she's she's been that and busy this year. Absolutely busy this year. Uh, okay, right. We'll do our first sprint. Uh, we'll come back. We will see how we get on with games and stuff. Uh, where is it? Add to stage. There we go. So, where is it on the screen? Oh my God, I've got so many options open because I wanted to, <laughs> I, got, I got to the games easily, but now I just, I don't know where anything is. Okay, I found it, okay. Right, let's do uh, 45 minutes, okay? Sure. Perfect, okay. I will see you guys in 45 minutes.
it's quite a nice uh, alarm to come back to, actually. It's the first time I've used that, so I didn't know if it was going to make me jump scare. I really should have had the kitty, actually, because the kitty does create jump scares, and that's the whole point of this, this live show. Also, there's there was a fight outside, but I couldn't go and watch it. Because could you imagine me coming to the window like this, looking like this, and I'm on the second and third floor, so I, I couldn't do that because they could just look up and see me. So I, I didn't get to see what the fight was about, or like who won. Well, like, a, like a face fight? Oh yeah, I could hear things breaking and smashing. What? It happens every few months <laughs> around here, it really does. Oh my gosh. I know, right? Uh, they're most likely been drinking. It is Friday after all. True. Uh, I got 33 pages read. Uh, I got another story done. I gave it an 8 out of 10. So that's awesome. And I got halfway through another story. So I think good progress was made. How did you do? Nice. I also did about 30 pages. I really don't know what I'm thinking about this book. Like, I, mm. it's so odd. Um, um, what I'm reading, in case anybody missed it. Mm. I just read a very weird scene between a man and an AI. Like, oh. um, like weird, like, uh, hmm. Hmm. My, my imagination's running wild here. Nope, you're probably thinking the right thing. Oh. It was weird. It was very weird. I don't know how to feel. This book is oh. very strange. <laughs> I, I need to read it. <laughs> I need to read it now. I want to, I'm intrigued. Even if I don't like it, I'm intrigued by that alone, honestly. <laughs> so, hmm. We well, it was, it's tagged as queer on Goodreads, but mm -hmm. there, there's not there's not two men involved, but there is a man <laughs> and his AI. <laughs> what would you call that? Like, I'm just very confused. Yeah, that, that confuses me too. Hopefully, though, it's on the up. Like, it, it sounds memorable. <laughs> truly don't know. I just love Hamlet so much that maybe I'm thinking too much about the comparison and like how it's doing the retelling. So I'm trying to separate myself from it in the last 100 pages. We'll see. Fair. Because yeah, I think if you go into it thinking, oh, Hamlet retelling, you would expect, I guess, a certain direction if it was going to be queer, I guess. Yeah, but it is like such a direct, I've never read such a direct retelling though. Like all the character names are so clear. All of the beats it's hitting are the same, but there's also like a robot kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, the I am gonna try and read a really weird queer Jaws romance next year. So I imagine it's probably gonna be around about the same kind of weirdness, I imagine. We'll so see. But, yeah, we'll see about that though. Uh, 34% of Peculiar Incident on Shady Street. Thanks for introducing me to T. Kingfisher, Kayla. Love it. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. Sometimes I go to look and they've stopped by then. You know, it's like, I always miss the good stuff. They just oh. get so distracted by your beauty. They can't fight anymore. <laughs> the fuck is, is that a man in, in a wig? <laughs> They'd be so confused. I'm glad they didn't see me actually... Um, when was it? It was was it last Friday or last Saturday? I dressed as Glinda the Good Witch from Wizard of Oz. I feel like if they saw me in that outfit, I mean, they would have words. I think they would have words. Uh, call out my job because Friday the Thirteenth obligated to celebrate. I, I the love amount that. Times, <laughs> the, yeah the amount of times I've seen people say "Call in sick today, call in sick, do it, do it, Katie." Honestly, you're not paid enough to work a shift on Friday the Thirteenth. You just don't know what's going to go wrong. And it sounds, Katie, everything goes wrong in your job on a normal day. Don't add in Friday the 13th. That's just asking for trouble. Oh. Uh, 26 pages. I do. I do. One day I will. One day. Um, I'll just see what people have been reading. Then we're going to try and play something. <laughs> uh, 30 pages to create a lake. 5%. Uh, 76 pages. 76 pages in 45 minutes is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, running between these sprints and taking care of my sick niece. Oh, I hope they get well soon. Oh, AI robot or online AI? Can you say uh, without? Um, neither. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe the less said, the better. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Gavin being a red herring. Uh, speaking of red herrings, Kayla, have you ever played Myrtle? No. I've actually had some people when I do, um, if nobody's familiar with my membership, I do like every couple weeks, I do um, reading sprints, but they really turn into game times. And every time we finish a sprint, we just play games. And I've had that one show up in the chat quite a few times, but I don't know what it is. And I never clicked it because I'm so distracted by Wordle and Worldle and Colorful and um, all the other ones that I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, yeah, you do have a lot. And is the one that you try and guess where it is, like the location, what's that one called again? The GeoGuessr? GeoGuessr one. Yeah, that one. I, I watch it and I, I feel dumb because I don't know where anything is. But I feel like we're going to really see exactly what Myrtle's about. So um, I saw this in Waterstones and that's what made me think of it. It's, you know, an actual physical copy of Myrtle. So I was like, well, how, how can we play this? Because it's a physical book, can't do it. But yeah, I, I rightly saw a lot of people have mentioned or recommended it to you that it is on, let me see if I can share the tab. It is on line. There is an online version of Myrtle and it does look complicated. So I thought we could try and do the mini Myrtle, like a sort of test, like it, it's a test one. It is a test one. Heck yeah. <laughs> I think Kayla would love Myrtle. I think so too. Even though I don't even know how to play it myself, it it, <laughs> it sounds your vibe. <laughs> it sounds it sounds good. Um, so Myrtle, uh, solve this mini Myrtle. You will learn the skills required to be a great detective. I already feel like I'm a great detective anyway. I've solved five. Is it five now? I've solved five Agatha Christie books, and I've gotten them right. So I feel like I'm already a good detective. And I have done the dollar store version of that. And I have read <laughs> terrible mystery books from where I live from this terrible local author. And, mm. and I solved all of those. Oh my God. See, we don't need the, <laughs> we don't need a test. We are good. I we guess are if good. you guys don't want to watch us struggle through this, you can always mute us and just keep reading. <laughs> oh, that too. That too. <laughs> but I'm so excited. This is, this is ambience. Uh, okay. So this, it almost looks like Sudoku in a way. Like, I find that interesting. That was the first thing I, I thought. But um, so we have a deduction college, solve the murder of a freshman lo logician. Lo logician. 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 Uh, so these, I believe, are the suspects. So we have Baron Maroon, Officer Copper, and Dean Glocious. Glocious. Uh, if anyone's played this before, let us know. Let us know if it's easier or hard. Uh, Baron Maroon is an incredibly holy man who holds a grudge. Nobody wants to offend the Baron, at least nobody who's still alive. Six foot two, right handed, here's the lies, red hair, Scorpio. Nice. I'm sorry, is this a dating profile? <laughs> if it is, I Are mean, you interested? Out. <laughs> I'm single, yeah. <laughs> Six foot two, yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. In Scorpio, I don't know what that actually means, but I'm sure we'll get on. They made a police officer in Aries. Uh, does that fit? Do you think? Because I, I don't I, I don't know vibes of star signs. I'm an Aries, so I'm just very competitive and evil. So maybe we're the suspect we're already assuming is gonna be Officer Copper. Okay, it's Officer Copper then. <laughs> We've called it already. Uh, oh, and a policewoman criminal is that you can fail to investigate your own crimes and cut out the middleman. So this officer does sound a bit sketchy. Five foot five, right handed, blue eyes, blonde hair, Aries. Nice, nice. Uh, Dean Glocus, the dean of some such and such department at a massively funded research university. What does he do? Well, he handles the money for one. Five and six, right handed, brown eyes, brown hair, Virgo. Okay. I don't know if any of this is relevant. Yeah, I'm assuming like we're going to, is there going to be something about right handed versus left handed possibilities maybe. of murder? Okay. Maybe, maybe. Uh, each suspect brought one weapon to one location, but on that day, only one was a murderer. Go through the clues one at a time, placing the information provided on the deduction grid. If you need help with the clue, tap the question mark beside it. Okay. So these are the clues and evidence. So this fingerprint was found in the freshman dormitory. Okay. So that's the fingerprint. Compare it to the recorded fingerprints of each of the suspects. Okay. Which one does it look like? Oh, I think it's Officer Copper. Officer Copper. Yeah. Officer Copper. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, uh, back to main, I think. 
So, okay, that, so now we know that they, but we already know they were all there. Yeah, unless they're they're at the university, but I think there's different locations. Oh, right, okay. In the in the university, so that one was in the freshman dormitory. So, what's this? That's the arboretum. Fresh. Oh, there's the freshman dormitory, and so was the copper who was there, right? So I imagine I click on it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, so check mark because we confirmed that that's true. Okay, perfect. Yes. <laughs> I think so. Uh, it sounds about right. It does sound about right. Uh, Dean Glocus had a crush on the person who brought a brain in a jar. So, okay. Is so, that we know, so we know that he's the one not with a brain in the jar, so you can click the X. Okay, so, and that's Dean Glocus. So an X for him because he didn't have that. Okay. Uh, oh, so a board game was not at parking lot B. So a board game. So that must be the board game. Parking lot B. That must be parking lot B. So an X? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, a messenger from the glittering movement of the knife gave logical a note that read this. So you have to decode it. Oh, okay. I don't want to click that then because that would give it away, right? Yeah. Are we supposed to decode it or are we supposed to click decode? Should I try it? I don't know. I'm we can figure... Uh, oh. oh, the detective club can't crack this code. Maybe the letters are scrambled or maybe there's something else. Okay, so it didn't... My decode. question is, is it decode... Is it per word or is the whole thing... Because okay, the last word, the last word is cord. Okay, cord. Okay, because I was gonna say that that must be had a, that must be right. So someone, someone had a someone. Cord. Is the cord the one under the dice? Oh, graduation cord. Okay, okay, so that's a graduation cord. So, so who had it, Baron? Oh, Baron. Baron. Yeah, just A A R O N. Okay, Baron. Okay, he has the, he has the cord. So he is Baron. So that's him. So that's a tick. Hey, you're so good. We're such geniuses. Oh, yeah. wait until we, we get to it. We pattern match and figure out a four letter word in the wrong order. <laughs> Just wait until <laughs> we get to the real events. Right? <laughs> this is a trial one. And uh, the murder took place next to trees and weeds. Okay. So, next to trees and weeds. So, that must be the orbit, orbit, arboretum. 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 I've never heard that word before in my life. Uh, so we need to work out the weapon at the Arboretum. So if a board game was not a Pokemon B, maybe it was at the Arboretum. Yeah, I guess. But because, but what about the freshman dormitory? The fingerprint was in the freshman dormitory, but a fingerprint didn't kill someone. So and maybe that doesn't go on here. Maybe it's just something that we have to remember. Okay. Okay, so from this, maybe I need to start... I think they... you need to put X's in because you know that the Baron had the graduation cord, so you know that it wasn't the other two people who had it, so you can put X's there. Okay. And then I can... And then also the... No, because we don't know. It doesn't say that everyone was in a different place, just that everyone had a different weapon. True. Look at your comments. Check on the locations and weapons for more info. Can you do that? Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe this might help. Um, philosophers argue it might be a brain in a jar. A great rebuttal is to hit them over the head with one. Okay. A board game. The rule book is 120 pages long and the box contains 460 different tokens. Medium weight, made of paper and plastic. Okay. It would be an honor to be strangled by one of these. Lightly. Oh. Is that not like a big, like too big a clue? Maybe. Locations, middle canvas overgrown with weeds. So yeah, that'll be, that'll be the one. Where the younger students learn the basics of rhetoric by arguing with their roommates. Okay. And this part now is only madly expensive and it's a 45 minute bus ride. Okay. Somebody said everyone is in a different place with a different weapon. Okay. So. So we can. Okay. So we can rule out the other two for that and then we know where the murder was 
So doesn't that mean we can rule out that that middle guy because he wasn't there? Oh, true. If he was at, oh yeah, true. Okay, so I can X him, and it's so hard to try and keep up with all of this. This yeah, is so much every different. every person's in a different place, so he definitely was not in Parky Luffy. Okay, so where were the other people? Where were the other people? The board game. Who had who had the board game? I don't know, but it wasn't a parking lot B. Mm. Oh, but we also know. Okay, so click the X. I'm pointing at my screen like you can see me. Put the <laughs> X, put the X under the middle guy in parking lot B. Like go all the way down. Oh, oh there, X yeah. there. And then since we know that he wasn't at parking lot B, we also know that he I lost my train of thought. <laughs> it's so hard. Like I'm trying I'm losing my train of thought all the time too. Okay, wait. The board game was not in parking lot B, so whoever had the board game wasn't at parking lot B. Okay. Who had the board game? I don't know, but we have to figure it out by um So oh wait, hang on. Okay, so the graduation who had the graduation code? Him. And then so if if the sus if he, if Office Club Copper didn't have the brain in the jaw, then that must mean Dean Glaucus had the brain in the jaw, right? No, because I went for him across the mouth. <laughs> Who had the brain in the jaw? Oh, well, oh, okay, no. wait, no, okay, wait. What we know is he didn't have the board game. Or no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we picked this game. I, I'm not smart enough for this. Um, okay. Okay, Dean Clovis doesn't have the brain in the jaw, so that must mean that the copper had the brain in the jaw, right? Because he has a crush on him. Whereas the Baron has the code, so that must mean he, Mr. Clovis, has the the board game, right? Yes. Okay, that okay, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I thought this would be easier. <laughs> no, we're doing fine. And then we also know, we still know that the board game wasn't in parking lot B. So whoever was in parking lot B didn't have the board game. They didn't have the board game. Okay. So put the other X's in, I guess. Okay, so I can do that. And um, not in parking lot B. So that must mean this guy, does that mean that Baron was in parking lot B? Because he didn't have the board game. Whereas this guy well, did. Well, yeah, because, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's yeah, I think what you're saying is right. You think it's right? Okay, good. Because I I, I, can't, I keep losing what I'm supposed to think. <laughs> this is so hard to keep track of. Maybe it's easier in the book. Like, maybe. Um, okay, so that does that mean A? Must have been Dean Glocus must have been the one in the arbitrarium if that meant that the Baron and the Copper were at the Parker Knot and the dormitory. Yeah. Okay. So what do I do with this? Do I just do the same thing? Now we're matching the location to the weapon. Ah, okay. Because you oh, know who has each weapon, so then you can assign it to the location. Okay. Oh well that's that's great. Um hey we'll have again. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> the dean had the board game and he was in the arbitorum. So that, that, I think. Because the board game wasn't in the parking lot. Okay. I'm just going with the floor. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then this guy with the brain was in the dormitory so the dormitory's there and then the graduation code is in parking lot b parking lot b so that's right uh, i think i don't know when do we submit it or are we wrong <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I, I make an accusation oh oh that sounds really scary to have to accuse someone actually um uh, we still have to figure out who the... Oh, wait, okay, so we have to figure... Okay, so the murder took place in the Arboretum, and we know that the blue guy was in the Arboretum with the, the board the, game. The Dean with the board game in the Arbor Arboretum. Yeah. So are we confident? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't know either. I feel like this was the main event. Like I thought this is a trial. Uh, so, sorry, board game in the Arboretum. 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 Make your accusation. Oh, God. Sure. Oh. Was he right? Was he right? Ah. I can't tell if this is like too hard or too easy. Like, if the chat is like, are you. <laughs> Why are you uh, making this accent? It seems so hard. Okay, let me have a, have a look at the chat. Hey, did you guys get it easily? What? How? <laughs> <laughs> or just a little slower. There's so many lines and... I also can only see little blurriness of all of your words, so I can't really see what's happening. I think we got there. We did. We did. We're just a dream team. No, I we like that. That was good, but that was only the trial version. Ooh. So I wonder what the main one's like. Oh my god, there's four. Five? There's oh, five. Five locations. Five locations, five suspects, five, five weapons. Good lord. Why so many? Because <laughs> three is so simple, apparently. <laughs> I, oh, I, I call bullshit on that. It's easier if you put in the X's as you go along. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, should we should we try the main one? And if it's too difficult, we'll pretend we didn't do this. Yeah, sure. There's also a notepad at the bottom. I noticed. Oh. Like you can go uh, to the bottom and click um, open open. Note open notepad. You can like write. Oh. Oh. Maybe to write notes or use the word oh, above just on the key. But can't I just do that with a normal one? If, yeah, I guess. I feel like we're going to... Oh, because... Can you type there? Where what? the text oh. was? Uh, yeah, oh, to yeah. Like, keep track of things, like your mm. assumptions. Because I'm assuming that question mark is there, and we're going to need to use that a lot more when we don't fully know. Good shout. Yeah, that's... Yeah, you're probably right. Um, do you think you'll do this um, on your members' live shows in the future? Depends how long it takes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see how this one goes. Maybe because we got the first one like pretty quickly, uh, maybe this one will be easier. Watch us fly through. We're geniuses. Okay, so we have the amazing Aurelian, Dame Obsidian, Sister Lapis, Viscount Emine, Eminence, and Judge. We'll just call them the Dame Sister Viscount Judge. <laughs> Or you could name them by the colors that they represent. Yellow, black, blue, <laughs> purple, green. Pine, lapis, obsidian. <laughs> okay, yours was way easier. <laughs> I thought we were professional detectives, yeah, Kayla. <laughs> uh, okay, so, scene of the crime. A commune upstate where the venerable leader himself has been killed. <gasps> that sounds intense. I don't think I'm ready for this. Uh, it, okay, I'll read the suspect things first. Amazing. Yeah, Aurelia. we didn't need to know any of this last time, hey? Actually, to be fair, true. We didn't. We don't need to know if they Maybe left. we will this time. Should we? Well, I'll, I'll, we'll read the first one if it's a whole load of crap then. <laughs> uh, Amazing Aurelian is a Torah magician who has perfected the whole sewing the husband into a routine. And she made the body disappear for her next trip. She's going to, she's going to need a volunteer. Okay. Five, six, okay. left hand, the green eyes, blonde hair, Aries. Quite a few areas in this. A mystery writer whose books, such as the best selling The Perplexing Problem of the Parrot, have <laughs> sold more copies than the Bible and Shakespeare combined, whatever. Five for four, left hand, a green eyes, black hair, Leo. I already smell a liar with this team. Uh, a habit wearing nun and a holy order of great renown. She travels the world doing God's work, but on his dime, too. <laughs> <laughs> These characters, it's better than Clue. She's an icon. Uh, she is. Five two right-handed brown eyes, brown hair, cancer. Uh, the oldest man you ever seen. It is said that he outlived all of his sons, and he was born before his father. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantasy. This is gonna be fantasy. Five for two, left-handed, gray eyes, brown hair, Pisces. He's he does look like a vampire. Mm -hmm. Uh, Judge Pine, master of the courtroom and possessed of a firm belief in justice, as decided by her and her alone. Five, six, right-handed, brown eyes, black hair, Taurus. Hey, I'm a Taurus too. 
do we need to know all of the weapon things? Channel text, brick, axe, ghost detector, poison candle. A ghost detector as a weapon. I know. How? 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 Well, I thought, how would a brain and a jaw be a murder weapon? I guess <laughs> smash it on someone. Meeting house, barracks, ancient ruins, the library, and stone bridge. Okay. I don't think we have to. Okay. Uh, each suspect brought one weapon to one location, but only one was a murderer today. Logical consulted his notebook and read everything he knew for sure. Okay, this is where it's going to get tricky. Sister Lapis had not been in the meeting house. Okay, perfect. We can already do... Which one's the meeting house again? Oh, here. Uh, meeting house, so this one. And which one's the sister again? <laughs> There's so many of them. Blue. She's blue. Okay, so she wasn't there. Uh, and that's all I can do. I don't think I can X off anything else. Oh, the next one is ha talks about somebody who has green eyes. Ah, oh, okay. So green eyes, okay. the yellow one. Who else? Oh, you can click I the arrow too and go to the next one. Oh, uh, ah, oh, okay. Oh, great. Oh, only one has green eyes. It was it was the yellow and the J. Oh, there was two. Sorry. Yeah. So okay, so we can put the question mark. Yay, okay, perfect. Right, so poison candle. I think it's the last one. Okay, so question mark. Because it was one of these two. Okay. Yeah, and then we put access to the other three. Just so we don't forget. Oh my god, it's getting <laughs> easy now. Oh my gosh. Uh this finger oh right, this fingerprint. Let's have a look at the fingerprint. The last time the fingerprint didn't mean anything, did it? Or did it? I think it I, it might have done. Oh, I don't remember. Uh okay. As well. Looks like Dame Obsidian to me. Dame. Okay, which color was she again? Dame black. And black. Obsidian is black. So on a channeled text. So that is the books, I think. Yeah. So that. Okay. So doesn't that mean we now know that the candle is the yellow lady? Um, it doesn't say the pleasant candle is the weapon yet. Just that the poison candle happens to have. Huh? Actually, I don't know. We know that the yellow lady has the poison candle because. Oh, so I can. Yeah. Doesn't. yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. That makes sense. <laughs> this is why we need to work together. Exactly. One brain I... cell. <laughs> you are the brain cell. I've... I'm just. <laughs> I'm kind of click. <laughs> uh, Inspector. Eritino sent Logico a message using spirit writing. The Logico suspected he had learned it some other way. Ah, so we've got another decoder thing. Okay. The... Mm. Well, which one of our codes had the letter Z in it? Because I see a Z in there. Uh... Right, or is that an S? No, I think it's a C. Oh, hang on, let's have a look. No, yeah, it's a Z. I don't think anything has a Z in it. Or a Z. Mm. Oh, no. It's an X. Maybe one of the suspects. Oh, amazing. Amazing? The amazing Oral... Oral? Or, oral Oralian? The yellow one. Mr. Yellow was seen by the Ancient Ruins. So, Ancient Ruins. So I think this is the ancient ruins. Yes. So I can take that, which means I can X all of these ones. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Either Viscount Eminence was in the barracks or Viscount Eminence was by hundreds of books. Okay, so he's either in the <laughs> library or the barracks. That doesn't help. But Viscount is purple. So library question mark and barracks. Is it this one? Stonebridge barracks. Okay. I honestly feel quite proud of what we've achieved and accomplished so <laughs> far. Put the X's in so we don't forget to. Oh, yeah. Because I will. <laughs> I'll get confused. <laughs> I think that's where we went wrong with the first one. I wasn't filling in the lines. Uh, a ghost detector was not in the meeting house. Okay. Well, so, where was it then? Yeah, where was it? The ghost detector. Okay, I can put it over here as an X mm -hmm. in the meeting house. So it wasn't in there. But I can't rule out any of the other ones, right? No. Okay. Um, 
Whoever was in the barracks had green eyes. Okay, so we again know it's the yellow and black. Oh, yeah. I, why did I go back down there? Uh, barracks had the green barracks. But we already know that yellow was at the ruins. All right. So that means yellow, I mean black, sorry, the dame was... Wait, is that the barracks or the ancient ruins? Oh, no, it's the stone bridge. Okay, neither of them. Where's the barracks again? This one? Yeah. So that must mean that they were there. Mm -hmm. So I can X those. Uh, still, Sister Lapis had a weapon made of wood. Okay, oh, so that... we, now we have to go to the weapons. Now this oh. is when it comes, when it, when it matters, when you click the weapons and it tells you what they're made out of. Or is it easy? Because uh, Well, no, because the axe could be all steel or something or or something i don't know uh, but maybe 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 just okay that's made of paper made of brick is in paper wood metal oh did it okay so it's the axe i mean the yeah it must be the axe uh so who was that again sister lapis okay and that's blue Okay, which means X, X. Oh, and I can X, X, X those as well, can't I? And X, oh, X, true. I didn't think of that. Which means Viscount and Green either oh, had, okay. yeah, Coffin or Ghost Detector. Yeah, you can Chop. X after the, uh, after the X too. Oh. Okay. The channel text was used to commit murder. Oh, okay. So, wait, so it was the dame? Because if the dame had the R, uh, the the channel text, mm -hmm. that must mean she's the killer. Okay, well, so we... we already know who she is. Yeah. And so now we know that the, um, the bar. location. Really? Is that it? I guess. Okay, so, sis, no, dame. It was the dame with the channel text in the barracks. Sure. Are we positive? I feel like that was too easy, wasn't it? I think it's just that we've gotten the hang of it and now we're geniuses. Probably, but watch us make, make your accusation. If we're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are they going to do? <laughs> oh my gosh. Fun. I think I'll do this with Liam. Yeah, do it. It's so, like well, it's something fun for him to try to figure out. Uh, there's a new one in 11 minutes, so if you do it later, at least it'll be a new one. Oh, fun. Oh, wait, no, we solved it in 11 minutes, sorry. The next oh. one will be available in four hours and 19 minutes, okay. Oh, well, that was that was fun. That was pretty fun. I do I have it. powerful. You should. But I honestly do feel like that was teamwork more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see, we'll see how you do on your own or with Liam. Right? Just have the comments hyping us up. You guys are geniuses. We didn't really do much. <laughs> well, we the one, I feel. Uh, but no, I actually thought the trial one was harder than the real one. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's just because we understood it more. Yeah, that could be the case. Seasoned detectives, master detective duo, Sherlock and Watson who? That could be a good costume idea too. That's true. Uh, sorry to hear that the midterm blocked, but oh, there's always no. next time. There's always next time. Don't let it get you down. First middle book is great. Yeah. Do you think you would get the actual middle book? And do you think it's got like such interesting oh. pages and things? And I don't know, it might be a little bit harder. It's actually got things that are quite of what blood types? Blood types, close and evidence. Uh yeah, yeah, even that one, yeah. I like that. I think I'll pick up the physical one. Yeah, I think there might be two of them so far. Fun. Yeah. I love it. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll do the next one after the next sprint. It's a, it's not Myrtle. It's something different. Okay. But you might have heard of it as well. Um, get well soon. Let me try and share my screen again. There it is. Okay. Uh, oh, I was stuck on the break. 
Uh, how do I reset it? I this, this is the first time I've used it. I don't know how to reset things. Maybe this. No crap. Uh, how do I reset? I'm a drum roll. Clock. Oh, timer. I see. I don't know how to reset it. Start holes. What if you refresh the whole tab? Good show. Friday was a win, Gavin. Time to party. That's what I'm saying. Ambient. Oh, wait, that was the one. Yay. Genius. Absolutely genius. <laughs> That's me. Uh, okay, let's uh, do another 45 minute sprint. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being such a great help, and Kayla, especially, for leading. <laughs> Leading somebody who thought they were a good detective and obviously wasn't. Also, I was watching the live count timer, um, how many people are tuning in, and it was on 665, and I was hoping it would go to 666, but it jumped to 667. So we kind of just missed the 666. Does one really? person want to watch me say one person leave and then everyone, everyone just goes? <laughs> Did you do that? Because <laughs> I don't want that to happen. But yeah, we are uh, just flirting with 666 right now, just so everyone knows. Uh, on Friday the 13th, it's, it's pretty special. Okay, let's uh, do a sprint. Maybe we'll hit 666 during the sprint. And if anything goes wrong, that's probably why. I will see you in 45. See you.
you all good over there? Not possessed or anything? It's very it's haunted. haunted. Yeah, I had to go back and look because that was just so funny. Oh, honestly, always delivering on the laughs. Always. And was that ghost face on the phone too? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you must have answered the questions correctly then. So I kind of left you alone. Mm -hmm. Nobody's walked in yet, so. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how did everyone do? I'm currently in the middle of probably my favorite story in this so far. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy about that. I feel like this is one of my uh, only times that I've been able to dive into an anthology. So with your experiences, Kayla, do you think they start great, get weaker in the middle, and then end great? Or do you think they start weak, in the middle it's great, and then end weak? Or does it depend oh gosh i i do feel like it depends it's really just like up to the editor and how they organize things i do feel like something that happens often in anthologies is book or stories with a similar tone get mm. put together um mm. when i feel like especially in a horror anthology i want it to be like a little spooky scary and then something mundane and then really freaky and then and it's organized like that but sometimes i feel like they'll put the best story at the beginning because they want to hook you and then you're right, I think it can drag a little bit in the middle. And I notice that similar tones will be together. And I'll just be like, okay, so it's uh, getting. Eh. That's interesting because I do feel like, depending on what you like horror wise, you might think that the beginning of this is better than the middle. Because I think in the middle, there are some that have been uh, like really scary in the sense of like visceral horror. So I feel like because of that, like I like stuff like that, I'm finding the middle so much more like entertaining than the beginning of this. Hmm. So, so I feel like we've started weak-ish and gotten really good in the middle. So I don't know how it's gonna end. I don't know if maybe the rest of the story is gonna be just as great, but I'm on a roll here. I think the last four that I've read have been in either an eight or a nine. And then the one I'm reading right now could be 10. You know, it's like oh, wow. we've literally, kept the best for the middle i think but. uh the editor jordan peel doesn't have a story in there right it's just his combination yeah. okay because sarah in the comments just said i feel like the editor's story is always the best one um mm. which is so funny because i think the opposite every oh. single anthology i've ever read i hate the editor's story wow like it's almost always my least favorite and i just feel like maybe you didn't need to be in here maybe you just could have combined everyone else's stuff and yeah. left yourself out of it so I guess that's yeah. what he did. I, I think so. He, he does have a forward, which was so interesting, like the forward. I'll obviously not say what he says in it, but something so relevant to when I was in the Haunted Castle. I was like, this is like perfect to read right now. It's like a specific word in a specific place that he mentions. And I'm like, well, hot down. Like, this is the time and place to read it. <laughs> so it, it was, that was so interesting. So his forward was very interesting but yeah he doesn't have a story which i guess is great if you don't seem to like the editors <laughs> uh it'll be interesting actually because i do have a few middle grade anthologies that i'm kind of interested in now that i know the editors do have short stories in them so who knows maybe they were so stretched thin with editing this book that their stories themselves weren't that great because they were distracted by everything else maybe that's the reason i think maybe that um they like had this idea for a story and they wanted to build an anthology around it and then mm -hmm. everybody else's was so good that they couldn't separate themselves and realize that their story didn't need to be in it <laughs> that's so dramatic sometimes it's, sometimes it's good um there is one middle grade one that i like um called oh shoot it has Eid in the title um oh, it's not an Eid. i love that one and i will say the editor's stories are great oh perfect because i do own that one i have it but I, yeah, as I, said, I just, I don't really read anthologies. So that's what I need to do. This one has probably kickstarted me in reading them. There is a one that I also have called Friday Black. I don't know if oh, you've- Oh yeah. I, that's, I have... um, that's all one author though. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, so it's not really an anthology. It's just- Yeah, it's the same author as um, uh, Chain Gang All-Stars. Oh, oh, cool. I wonder if they have, no, I don't think so. Uh, I was gonna say, I, I thought maybe that I'd read something else by them, but I, 
that, that doesn't sound that one doesn't sound familiar just friday black mm -hmm. so i thought maybe i have read something else but i don't think i have but i've been interested in that because i've had it for like two years or something i also i have it on my tbr shelf and i haven't read it yet hey who knows maybe we are twinning more than we realize not just in looks but in exactly. our books <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh actually yeah so how did you do in that sprint sorry oh i did and i'm there like 30 pages i feel like i'm reading it kind of slowly at this point i don't feel super motivated to finish my book but mm -hmm. i will i will because i need to move on to something else i'm actually also reading an anthology right now the um there's an indigenous horror anthology called never whistle at night or don't whistle at night that i'm yeah. reading a couple stories a day in as well oh perfect yeah that's been recommended to me lord so i'm gonna have to give that one a read too now That's I'm in good. my anthology era, apparently. They might have left uh, Tales from the Cafe, kind of fell asleep, and the sounds scared me. Just loud sounds in general scare me. Whenever a guest comes into StreamYard and that boop sound happens, <laughs> I shit myself every time. On page 500, amazing. I'll get through some comments and stuff that we'll play on next game. I only have one more game, though. I don't really have a... Because the middle thing was way quicker than I expected. So I, I only really have one other game. Um, so I hope that's okay. That's cool. 50 pages into Bunny, 40 pages of Picture Doring Gray, and my dreams of holding a knife. Uh 39th episode of One Piece. Actually, I kind of know what we can do after. I think so the next sprint, because we're ending in like just under an hour and a half, I think we could end up doing maybe one longer sprint to make up for it and then like a chatty bit at the end as well because sure. there, there might be there might be one more thing that i think will be really cool to end with that's kind of like a little competition between you and i oh gosh ish All right. we'll, we'll see how it works we'll see how it works but i'm just constantly thinking i'm like how can i do this how can i uh keep the the entertainer momentum going you know because obviously everyone's entertained <laughs> everyone's entertained by your possessed camera uh the games that we're playing never read anthologies in order that's, that's interesting. So interesting i've never thought to ever do that i wonder actually if maybe i can get a an anthology recommendation of someone like maybe yourself and maybe you can tell me your favorite to least favorite story that anthology and i maybe read it in that order or the opposite order. the opposite yeah yeah I do mark all of my anthologies. Like I rate every single story independently, so I could totally do that. Oh well, do it's, you like, it's, how much nonfiction do you read? I haven't read a lot, but I won't say no to anything. I'll read anything. So I was going to say there is an there's a nonfiction anthology that has to do with horror movies, and it's all from queer authors, and oh. it's one of the best collections I've read. But it's not really it's not stories; it's essays. But. Still, I would yeah, I love stuff like that. I have a book about Scream, <laughs> so it's really? called it all Began With a Scream or something. That's just uh, like behind the scenes and, and stuff like that. Not exactly an anthology. I think it is just one author, but it's like different aspects of something. But if yours is an anthology, then I wouldn't mind that. Uh, Emily Watts, Encyclopedia of Fairies. Is that, is that your members book club? It is. We're going to have a live show in November for it. I'm so excited. Nice. I never read book club picks. I'm sure you're the same until like the day before because like I want to keep things fresh. So I'm just, I'm dying to read it because I want to know what my thoughts are actually going to be. Yeah, me too. Because I read it and I'll not let you know what I thought of it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not saying if, if it's good or bad. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'll not say if it's good or bad. <laughs> um, yeah, what was, what was the week originally for? You said you cut it to make a screen. I don't think this one was specific. This was like the other one I got that was actually the proper Bob was something. Um, this one was just a really long curly, like it's ugly. It's so ugly. You can see like all of the, yeah. like I couldn't actually wear this in any capacity other than the internet where people won't judge me very much. Like if you saw the back, good God. I don't think it was anything. It was just like long and stringy and sad. And it was cheap. So that that was the selling point. Exactly. Happy Friday the 13th. Friday Black is good. And Once Upon an Eat is so good. Love and Whistle at Night. I recommend it. Perfect. It looks like so many people have been doing so 
much to do. He spends like 100 pages left. You'll get it done. Uh, in Kayla's reading, Dollar Store, yeah. Dollar Store Casey. <laughs> <laughs> the I gave him. I can't. Look, I'm waiting for when you finish it. Honestly, I need you to finish it so you can be happy and free and read something that you're so excited about. I'm just. It's just. I'm not disliking it. You know. Yeah. I just. Why? don't I don't even know how I feel. This. Say this is the thing. We can tell when your mojo isn't like in that book. I think. Like I. This. I feel like you need something that's going to really bring out the. I wanted to say a word there that I'm not going to say because, uh, <laughs> but you know what I mean telekinetically because we're twins. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, also, Katie, you Katie rereads like three times in one week sometimes. So I'm like, Katie, you can yeah, you can read it a month later and still have time. Uh, okay, right. The next one is and I. You might have seen this one. Let me share the tab. Let me share the tab. Boop, boop, boop. It's called Feudal. Have you done Feudal? No, okay, sure. it's oh awesome, perfect. Oh my god, this is like whole new stuff. I'm I'm so happy. So it's Google autocomplete, and you have to try and guess the word that it's autocompleting or something like that. Like so, you have to try and think what would somebody search. So this one specifically is: Is there a real place called? And then you have to. I don't know, say if it's some a word fits. Okay. And also, Jean, I am reading Out There Screaming, edited by Jordan Peele. It's kind of like family feud. It's like you have mm. to think about what the audience is thinking. Yeah. Not yeah. what I would be Googling. No, no. Um, what would you Google? What would you Google? That's a maybe that's a good starting point. Because who knows maybe place? that's what other people have been. Is there a real place called? I would think of like fictional places that like you read maybe like really classic books that you want to know if they're actual place. Like if the book was inspired by an actual place, like maybe someone would Google, is there a real place called Mordor? Oh yeah. Okay. Wait, M O R D O R. Okay, that's six, but I I, I get the um the the logic. I didn't think of that because I was gonna say, is there a real place called Earth? That's what I was gonna say. Wait a second, what are you saying about letters? I don't see anything on your screen. You don't see anything? There's like it's, five. I see the, there's something under it. It's only allowed to be five letters? Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, okay, wait. Is this, so there's not more than one option. We're just trying to get to one answer, like Wordle? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say Earth. That's a fair one. <laughs> it's you just think? a stupid guess. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I feel like would people actually search that, but. Oh, I don't even, I don't see any, I don't see the boxes. You don't see the boxes? What's going no, on? I think your screen's just a little bright. It's okay. Fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's me. Okay. I, I wonder if I can zoom. Can I zoom? Edit. Uh, view. Zoom in. View. Zoom in. Maybe, is this a little Maybe bit better? My screen's too bright, actually, now that I think of it. It might be me. He always blaming me for things, Kayla, honestly. Now, do we want to take the chat into account or do we want to do this independently? Oh. Because the chat might just already know the answer and they're just going to give it to us. True. True. Yeah, don't give us the answer. We'll try and do it independently. So, okay, so I'll, I'll close my chat so we don't get influenced. Yeah, I, can't, I when I'm on this screen, I can't say chat. Mm -hmm. I can't even see you. So you. You could be doing this to me and I wouldn't know. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so um, does that mean none of the letters are right? No, no, I need to click. I know. Should I try? Oh, you still need to do it. Okay. Yeah, should I try it? Sure. Okay. Blue is what? I think blue means that it's like the letters are there, but not in the right place, maybe. Okay. Uh, so uh... there is an A and an R. Uh, <laughs> Kayla, you're so good at these on your like um members. Like you're so good at wordle. Like I'm so impressed. I can never think of actual words. You know, I can't think of actual words when you're doing them. I'm like, I think what? I think it's not helping me is I don't have the keyboard in front of me. So I'm just gonna open up my keyboard so I can actually see oh that's a good show. What it yeah. could be. 
Um, I feel like the second letter is going to be R. Okay. Uh, and then so, A I. Should I do what you do? Because sometimes you do, what do you do like X or X X something like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe that what about help. like um? I guess we can do any answer that it, it doesn't even have to be a place. Like, what about the word frail? Frail, yeah. F R A I L. Just to get the letters in the right place. Yeah. Oh, okay. A is in the right place. Okay. I like I like your logic though about like people will probably search for a fictional place. I can't even think of fictional places right now. The only thing I can think of is Forks from Twilight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think it can be that one, can it? Because oh yeah, no. Yeah. Um, yeah. Everything else is more than five letters that it could be, but good grief, this is actually hard. Um... Yeah, I can't imagine. The R being anywhere but the end. But what okay. would come between A and R? Yeah, this is tough. I feel like I'm not doing it properly because I can't think of locations. I'm just trying to figure out the word, which isn't the right way to play. No, but if it helps, uh, what about R, X, A, X, X? Anything begin with R? No. Also, if it's a fictional place, it's probably not actually a real word. So it's not even going to come to mind. True. <laughs> uh <laughs> well we might have to just like guess just guess random words then because i can't think of fictional places that are just five letters we can just we can try words we've still got four tries um what about snark snark oh okay we got oh ozark ozark That's a show, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, it's a I've, TV never, show. I've never seen it. No, me neither. Is it a real place? What's the answer? <laughs> it is Ozark. But I don't no, know where that no, is. No, I'm literally going to Google it. Is Ozark a real place? <laughs> Google. Google. Are we, can we play more? Because I, I was yeah, hoping... Is there only one a day? Uh, uh, is it? I was hoping that maybe they could just keep doing... I know there is the one, there is a, let me stop sharing the screen. I know there is a actual Google feud game as well that I like, but I haven't played it in a while. So I don't know if it's still any good. That's kind of more along the lines of what you had originally said before. Um, I played it once before in a live show. And I'm just trying to think if maybe <coughs> it also work. Okay, so let me share my screen again. But well, that was fun. I like that. That was pretty good. I like the yeah. idea of it being a family feud better. I would love it if we had to guess like the five top answers or something. I wonder if that kind of game exists. Yeah, this Google feud is like that. Um, so I think oh, this, okay. uh, I think we can pick a category. So like culture, people, names, questions. But again, I don't think you'll be able to say very well. I'll try and zoom in, view, zoom in. The ads are crazy. They're terrible. I'm kind of a bit concerned I might download pornography or something. <laughs> Willie just comes up on screen, please close your eyes. It's totally unintentional. Uh, so should we go culture, people, names, or questions? I don't know. What's the most likely one where we'll get horror movies? <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, see, that would have been a cool one if there was like a Halloween-themed Google feud. Yeah, that's uh, true. Just whatever it is, not people, because I don't know anything about celebrities. Maybe questions then? Maybe? There could be like top 10 scary movies. Maybe that I could hope be cool. So. Oh, uh, what cheese? How does, what is the best kind of what cheese? <laughs> that's what oh. I Google. <gasps> I'm leaving. <laughs> Oh, heck, I for sure thought that would be. That's something I would Google. <laughs> and a cheese, yeah. I mean, same. I don't really know my cheeses. What's uh, what is the best kind of pizza? I I'm just thinking of food. Yeah, me too. I'm thinking of food. What is the best kind of pizza? Oh, you know, I'll I'll have a guess. You have a guess. We'll go back and forth. I guess we really need to think about what people would be googling. Why would somebody Google what other people's favorite? 
What is the best kind Something of Something you actually need to know. What's the best kind of um, um, bank account to open? Like something like that. Like something mm. that would give some, somebody actually information about the world. What's the best kind oh. Of? Oh, like what is the best kind of mortgage? What is the best kind of... It's like um, cell phone company? No. Um, <laughs> kind of... um, Could it have to do with pets? Like what's the best kind of cat to own? Oh. Oh, do or do we think cat or dog? Do you think people Ooh, would search dog? For? Prob dog probably, right? What's the best kind of dog? Look at us go. Top answer. Oh my gosh, I love it. But that we well, figure that out together. Um, what's the best kind of? Oh, oh, um, like car brand. What's the best kind of car? car? Should I do car brand or just car? Just car, maybe. Oh my god, that's it. We got only got three and we're done. There's more that we like more rounds that we can do. What's um, the best kind of water to drink? That's silly. Why would you why would you just just drink water? What's the best kind of Christmas tree to buy? Mm. I'm not best, Googling that. What is the best kind of sleep? I don't think I what is the best <laughs> sleep to get to sleep, maybe, but not what's the best kind of sleep? Look, that's that was just silly. Okay, let's let's do one of the other questions. Oh wait, next round. Okay, next round. Um, let's try names. What's your names, Robert. Oh, like famous people. Oh yeah, Robert Patterson. Is that how you spell it? Is it P N? Pattinson. Pattinson. Is it Pattinson? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> should I? Should I try? Should Should we do someone else first? Is it Patterson? Or is it like Pat Erson? How do you just... not know? I know why I don't know. I don't know because I don't know. <laughs> I thought you'd be a Robert Pattinson fangirl. Robert yeah, that's right. Pattinson, maybe. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Redford. Uh, Redford. Who Redford? I know an old man named Robert Redford. Hey, second. Okay, perfect. Um, Robert Downey Jr. from Marvel. Nice. We have to be spelling these wrong for sure. Yeah, I think so. God damn. Why have I got the why have I got this right now? Kayla, you're gonna have to open it on yours and <laughs> so you can type these in. I can't. How spell. did you spell it? Uh, there's an E Jr. Did, did I spell it with an A or not? I I, I think I would have spelled it with an A. Maybe, maybe I need to do a dot at the end. Okay. Oh, I don't. Should I try? Do you want to know any other Roberts? Um, you could do Pattinson again. We can spell it right. How, how did I spell the first time? Pattinson. Again? There's two T's. Did you put two T's? I think so. I feel like I you did. I can't be 100% sure. Okay, maybe we're wrong. Maybe we're wrong. Um, Robert. What about Plant? Robert De Niro. Robert. Ooh, Plant. Good one. Robert Plant. <gasps> okay. We're on a roll. We're on a roll. I, I'm just... I only know the old ones. Robert Smith, Robert, Robert, Ro Pete, oh, I was going to say Peter Robert, but that's Peter Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Peter, Robert, that's my husband's name. Oh. Robert, as if I just realized that. <laughs> Robert. You're the here. Robert Lolo. Let's dox him right now. Uh, Robert. I'm out. I'm so sorry. I've got nothing for you. I've, I've got nothing else you either. Said the chat. Okay, chat. Okay, let's click on the screen. Oh, Robert. they're saying Redford Downey Jr. Oh, Frost. Robert Frost. Robert Frost. Frost. Oh. <gasps> sorry, everyone. We disappointed you. Oh, sorry. Wagner. Woods. I'm so sorry. I don't know who any of these people are. I don't know any of these ones. Patterson wasn't even on here. Neither was. I feel like I know who Robert E. Lee is. I'm not worried. But Downey Jr. wasn't even on here either. I don't think this is f for us. This is this Google feud is for old people. I think so too. Robert Pattinson is not on there. Who who were they asking? Right. They asking? Should we do oh, culture? Oh! I can culture cucumbers or what? Fruit. Cool. Cu 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 oh. Okay, I'll try fruit, but I thought I thought cucumbers are cool, you know, like cool as a cucumber. That's why I was thinking about that. Okay. Okay, cucumbers <laughs> are cool. 
okay, if that's not the top answer, then what and why the um, 90 What like, are they Googling? They want to know, or they're just putting facts into Google? Cucumbers are healthy. I'm sure somebody wants to know that. Okay, I quit. Pickles, put that away. <laughs> I think people are wondering if cucumbers are pickles. Okay. Hey. Um, Maybe vegetable. Vegetables. Um, I, I know they're it. not, but like somebody's Googling it. Oh. It's you and I. Oh, cucumbers are haunted. What? Okay. Yeah, cats are scared of cucumber. Oh, yeah. Oh, they are. Oh, maybe I should buy one. Say Fashion Tobit React. Uh, we'll do, like, we'll try, was there people that we didn't do or names? We did names. We did and names. I'm confused how people's different. Yeah, true. Okay, maybe let's just, it. let's try. Bathrooms near, how is that, how is that people? Oh, why, like locations. Why is vampire coming up when I do that? Bathrooms, bathrooms near, near like like a city like London. Is that what we're talking about? Oh, yeah, London. Near London. Wait, would you wouldn't be looking for bathrooms near London? Bathrooms near me. How is this names? I know, right? That doesn't for make people. any sense. Uh, bath bathrooms near. Uh, what's public transport? Uh, near bus stop. Bathrooms near bus stop. No. Bathrooms near train station, bathroom. Make sure I drive. So lost. Me too. Like this doesn't make any sense. It shouldn't be people or names. It should be bathrooms near. Should I go on the chat again? I don't know. You guys were shit the last time. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was going <laughs> to say Disney. Somebody said Disney, but like you wouldn't be googling that. You'd be googling bathrooms near this certain ride at Disney. Yeah, bathrooms near Magic Kingdom or. Bathrooms yeah. near, uh, the bathrooms near Starbucks. There should be a bathroom in Starbucks. I would yeah, imagine. this is this is not right. <laughs> or maybe bath bathrooms. I, I I doubt it, but like, let's try it now. Okay. Oh, hey. us? Yeah, us. Me up here, Eiffel Tower, Union Square. Me now, Times Square. Me and my C. Okay. Okay. Well. Uh, there is a, a, a different Google feud that I've been on before. We'll try that one. Ooh, we could do, um, what's that website that has all of those games where you have to complete the lists? Oh. I'm talking about? No, I, I don't. It's called Sporkle. Is it called Sporkle? Oh my gosh, I love. I just wanted to play, I, I don't want to end on that game. Like, that was diabolical. Sporkle with a C? Yeah, and you can, no. like, Pick oh. any kind of category you want. So we could do like a horror movie one. Oh, ooh, okay. Uh, let me share my screen again. Because I think I found it. Sporkle. Everyone loves Sporkle. Katie is like a Sporkle queen. Oh, who's was on the movie post in the 1990s? That looks like Sense of the Lambs. That could be a horror thing. Unless you've already done that one. You've done it? I haven't. I have never oh. even been on this website before. <laughs> never on this website before. Uh, Maybe just use the search and put like movie or horror or something. I don't know. Maybe everyone can pick which one we do. Uh, horror movies taglines could be good. I feel like horror movie motives might be spoilery for anyone who hasn't oh, true. seen a horror movie. Um, but the tagline one, that could be cool. Maybe. Oh, and Katie just said yes, vocal. Uh, let's try the horror movie. Oh, maybe should I try books as well? Like, Oh, sure. Book. Book titles by antonym. I want to sound really dumb here. What's an antonym? Like the opposite. I've actually played that one before. Oh, okay. It'll be like, it'll be like, it'll say big men. And you have to figure out what the book title is. And it's little women. Oh, so that's okay. Cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, is there any here that you haven't played? I think I only played like two. So. Okay. Have you played, finished the book title? I don't think so. I also, we can't see your screen perfectly in this angle. Oh, oh crap, yeah. Um, let me change that. Okay. There we go. That's better. Uh, okay, shall we do finish the book title? See if that, because I, I don't think, if I search horror books, I because I feel like everything horror and um, book related would have come up there. Horror book. Oh, there's 39,000, oh. 244 oh. results. 
Okay, well, so we have okay. missing word horror books. That's Ooh. fun. That does sound like a comic. Let's we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. Oh gosh. Look, crap, don't look. Don't look. Oh. Can you can, I, can everyone say stop sharing? Stop sharing. Okay. Uh are we oh hang on. You're supposed to look, I think. Oh, oh, okay. We've got five minutes. I need to share the screen again. We've got five minutes to answer these. It's already started. It's already started. I didn't realize. Okay, so <laughs> I thought this showed us the answers. Okay, oh, wait, this so... is going to be way too easy, Gavin. Yeah, I think so. A bird. <laughs> uh, wicked. Maybe, okay, yeah, maybe this might be a bit too easy. But it does That's okay, we can do it. It's a fast one. House, leaves. Uh, leaves. I thought it was, I was going to say horrors there. House of leaves. Baby. Baby. At the uh, mountains of, oh, I don't know this one. Madness. I think it's if it's Lovecraft, I think it's madness. Oh, nice. The bad omen? No. <laughs> uh no. bad. I don't know. William I said it was Marshall. easy and now I don't know it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, can I just go on to the next one? Turn the screw. Um date Interview. Interview. Date with the vampire, yeah. <laughs> the woman, World War Z. Flowers. Flowers. Girl with all the gifts. Gifts. Silence. A lot. Okay, it's just the William March one I don't know. Hmm, the bad professor. The bad cat. The bad doctor. The bad... Oh my gosh, no, I, can't, I can't type fast enough. <laughs> 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 the bad booktuber. <laughs> mm. uh, does chat know? Shall we check chat? Oh, chat. Seed. Seed. I've never heard of it. No, me neither. Never heard of it. What are, genius level Einstein. Well, we all work together on that. Thanks so much. Next missing word. Okay. Spooky oh, song lyrics. Huh? Spooky song lyrics. So he did oh. the mesh. The monster mesh. The monster mesh. It was a graveyard. Smash. <laughs> uh, how about I sing? You you fill in the word. Okay. Mm, perfect. Because <laughs> this is thriller, thriller night. And no one's gonna. Is it save you? Get you? Save you. Okay. Yeah, that's one. Uh, if there's something weird and it don't look good, who are you gonna call? Oh. <laughs> uh, boys and girls of every. Oh. Do you know Nightmare Before Christmas? No. I'll I'll do this one. Boys and girls of every age. age? Oh, I guessed it even. Uh, when when I'm in, uh, I don't know the the flow. Oh? When, when I'm in the shower, I'm afraid to wash my. Sorry. I don't I don't know the flow of this song. I'm guessing it's hair. Hair. Yeah. Hey. Ass. Afraid to wash my ass. I broke broke the look in. Glass. Glass. Mirror. Glass. I put a spell on you. Because you're mine. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. I hope we don't get a copyright strike for this. Uh, well, I might now. Now that you hit that note. Yeah, since we're hitting it so well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was walking down the street just to have a thing when a snake of a guy gave me an evil. Why don't I know it? You seen Rocky Horror? Yeah, I love Rocky Horror. I I'm doing it now. What is it? Oh, a I'm wink. Doing... I was yeah. like, what rhymes with think? Am I okay? A <laughs> drink? Oh Sing? I haven't uh, seen that in so long. I really need to rewatch that. You do. Uh, and the night when the cold wind? I don't know that song. Um, I don't think I know this song either. I got a black magic woman, got me so blind I can't see that she's a black magic woman. She's trying to make a something out of me. Fool? Fool. No, uh, I'm make a man? Oh, man. man. Oh. Joke? Uh, she's trying to make a. Oh no. Okay, next one. Skip next it, one. Skip it. Yeah. <laughs> now I have a story. Uh, oh, now I have a. I don't know if I know this song either. Now I have a story. Now that I have I... a story. Oh, I'd like to tell. About this. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Uh, about this guy, you all know him. He had me scared as. Well. Oh, good one. Uh, 
the creepy and the kooky, mysterious and gooey. I don't know the Addams Family. I'll answer that one for you. <laughs> uh, she had me spellbound in the something, dance in shadows and firelight. So I, I must have to rhyme night? with light. Night. Oh, spellbound in the night. Hey. Uh, what did I see? Can I believe that what I saw that night was real? Really? And not yeah, real. Okay. So we still got the black magic woman. Trying to make She's... a devil out of me? Gobble. Devil. Oh, devil. Oh. Oh, wow. Perfect. I stole that, I stole that from the chat. Oh, okay. Well, we can do that every now and then. <laughs> Let you guys feel one involved. One quiz. <laughs> Is there another one? Um, oh, this is a movie one. This is a movie one. Um, Attack of the something tomatoes? Fried green? Fried green. <laughs> Giant? Killer? Killer. Oh, killer, killer. Maybe killer. A, uh, a medieval horror. Something Hellraiser 2. Hmm. The way mm. I just said fried green tomatoes and you typed it in is this is really great. <laughs> I, well, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> it could have been that. A oh, horror movie. I don't know what the Hellraiser <laughs> one. Army of Darkness. Darkness. Perfect. Sleepy Hollow. I need to watch that, uh, Jeepers Creepers. But I need to, um, sorry, I need to, yeah, watch Sleepy Hollow. Uh, Halloween Resurrection. Oh, it's double letters. That's the theme. It's double letters is the theme. All the answers have double letters. Freddy. Oh. Uh, Bright? That's no. not a double letter. Oh. Seed. Um, uh, well, Creek. Nice. Silent. Silent. Oh, I think I've seen it as well. I'm sure there's a... Oh, I think Hill. There's... Yeah. Uh, death. 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 There's too many. I don't know. There are. There are there's so many. I have something body. Jennifer's? Oh. Oh, Jennifer's, yeah. The Haunting in Connecticut. Oh. Did I spell that right? Yay. I've never heard of that. Uh, oh my god, the second movie is so silly. It's The Haunting in Connecticut 2, The Haunting in Georgia. So it's not even in, <laughs> Connecticut. Not even in Connecticut. Why would you call it that? Um, I can think of this panic room. That's not it. No, maybe. I, oh, I was going to say Emma's room, but I'm like, Emma's room? Is that even a film? The Maybe's. Green Room? Is that a horror? Green. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Girl with All? Is that what was on before? Mm hmm. Okay, so this Hellraiser one. I've never seen any of them. Is there a movie called Death Knell? K N E L L? Oh. Yeah. Death Star? Wait, no, that's not. I'm thinking of Star Wars. Death. Um, this Hell Hellraiser and Death. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to get the Hellraiser one. No. Okay, I'll, okay, I'll look at chat. I'll, I'll look at chat. It was a Hellraiser fan. Oh, Hellbound? Hellbound. Huh. Never would have got that. Death. Uh, oh, Proof. Oh, Death. Oh, yeah. Rose McGowan's in that. Death what? Proof, yeah. Death yeah. One, we had one minute left. One minute left. How many of them are there? Like, that's bloody lords. Oh, this is Missing with Desserts. No. Um, <laughs> you left the horror world. I did. Why, are, so, is, so are they all missing words? Is that what the whole website is? These are all of these ones are. Or is there other things? Oh, we're missing... in that category. Yeah, we're in that category. How do I get back? Maybe just search horror again. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh, crap. What am I doing? <laughs> did you click an ad? <laughs> I did. I clicked on the Disney Plus ad. It was trying to sign me up. Oh, my God. A low-key ad. That's targeted at me. Uh... What, wait, what did I say? What did I search the last time? Horror book? Did I, did I search? Oh, horror? yeah. Horror book. I was going to see anything as friends. What? 
Uh, Halloween Ooh, Halloween cool. Halloween I cover? That could be fun. Is it going to be too uh, easy? Let's see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, I'm haunted again. Are you all? Oh, no, I can't see you. Hang on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it so much. I hope you don't fix it. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't know how, so. <laughs> Ooh, Bonicula. Who? Oh, we wait. It gives you the title, and then you have to pick. Oh, uh, the shadow over In's mouth. Um, uh, I don't know that one. It could be HP Lovecraft. It sounds like a Lovecraft. It does. Yeah. Uh, it has the clock in its walls. Oh, that's John Belair's. So that's that one. Exorcist. Probably the cross. This one. Ah, Legend of Sleepy Hollow. It's got to be this one. <laughs> <laughs> The Graveyard Book, Garvinial Gaiman, Horn of Hill House. Um, top left. Top left, Shirley Jackson. Frankenstein. Oh, no, I was Bram Stoker. That's not Bram Stoker. <laughs> Mary Shelley. Oh, Witch Week. I haven't heard of this one. Probably that one with the tree. The tree. Which one? Oh, this one? Oh, no, wait. Is it the Roll Doll? Crap. It's the one by Diana Wynne Jones. Oh, there's um... Benick. Uh, Queen of the Damned. That's right. by Rice. It'd be better if it didn't have the, the author, author on name. it. Yeah, that would be so much harder. Dracula. Um, the Witches, witch that's the Roald Dahl one. Yes. Halloween Tree. Oh, that's right. Oh, Ray the Brad. tree. Yeah. Uh, Pet Cemetery. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Nice. I was going to say was... it was easy, but we I still got one wrong. So. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, one more, and then we'll do a little bit of a shorter sprint. Because I, I want to end on, like, the best game ever, essentially. Oh, Christmas titles, real or fake? You, This is going to be so easy for you. Okay, but what if I don't input and you have to play this one on your own? Okay. <laughs> are, you, are you good at Goosebumps? I know you've, like, at least read a couple, but... No, I've read most of them, but it was when yeah. I was 10. I couldn't tell you... A, I don't know if I could tell you a single title of a Goosebumps book. Oh, perfect. Okay, then let's do that one. It sounds fun. Goosebumps titles, real or fake? Oh, yeah, especially since, like, they're probably going to give you, like, two options or, or like, an option of a book that you have already read and you just won't know. Like, they might change, like, one word about it or something. This could be fun. Okay, play quiz. Oh, so you have to pick which ones? Um, There's no way. <laughs> okay, there's 15 that are correct. Oh, uh, so I see you have to... Yeah, you have to pick the 50 that are correct. Okay, I'm going to go... Okay, let's go row by row. Okay, do I need to zoom in a bit more so you can see? Um, maybe a little bit, just so the ads disappear. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to say stay out of the basement. Nice. Ooh. Oh, I know say cheese and die. I know that one. Nice. I kind of want to say vampire lunch ladies, but I don't feel confident, so I'm not going to do it. Okay. Um, <laughs> Phantom of the Auditorium sounds right, but maybe that's like a Nancy Drew. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. No, okay, okay. you say, if, you if say final. Title, okay. Yeah, you say <laughs> Attack of the Jack O' Lanterns. Final answer. <laughs> the Roller Coaster of Death. Final answer. Why is that one? Huh? Oh, you hesitated. That means I should have known it was wrong. My best friend is invisible. Sounds right. Final answer? Yeah. Oh, stop! <laughs> Don't look at me because I'm going to put y'all. No, yeah, final answer. That's not one. What the heck? Oh, yes, it is. You son of a. <laughs> um, the Girl Who Cried Monster, I think, is one. That's two rows down. Okay. Um, Ghost Beach, I think. Final answer? Yeah. <laughs> it came from beneath the sink. Final answer. Um, Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes. Final answer. Why is that one? Oh, bottom. Oh. Right bottom. Okay, those are the only ones that I felt confident about. I don't know any other ones. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you only six? You've got under four minutes. Mm, let's do 10 minutes of terror to the bottom. Shoot. 
the abominable snowman like i feel like i know there's one about an abominable snowman but that one feels like too long of a title but i'm gonna send it you're gonna send it hey. oh my gosh <laughs> um what the heck I love all of these titles, by the way. Even the ones that aren't. I'm like, which ones are fake? I can't tell because they are they're all believable. Yeah. Take you me just... out to the haunted ball game. Okay. Uh can I answer? Yeah. Oh, darn it. I wonder if these are other books or they're just like made up. Maybe maybe other books, honestly, because the roller coaster of death sounds amazing. That's not one. No, but... oh, yeah, right. It's not... How I got my shrunken head feels right. Okay, where's well, that That's at one? the top? Hey, you've got one guess left. Oh my gosh. Um, the scarecrow walks at midnight. Oh, final answer. Yeah. Hey, hey. which one's right? Was I missing? Uh, so it was. Even I'm looking now. Is uh, the ones that are red now? Oh yeah, the ones that yeah. Sorry, oh, I was okay. totally looking at them. Yeah, everyone says from Oz. Why I'm afraid of bees and piano lessons can't be murder. Oh, those are the other right ones. I know. Did you that remember? Might... Do you remember? Did you remember all of those? Would you have gotten fifteen out of fifteen? I, I would have. Yeah. Nice. Can I? I wonder if, I, if it would have been cool if they could have like randomized it and I could have just like you know like they pick different titles for you to pick to do oh, it. Yeah, like, yeah. That would have been so good. Maybe I, maybe I can do, because I I feel like I could blast through it. Yeah, do this one by yourself, since I took yeah. the I took the thunder. This is the all the original sixty two, I believe. So they're trying to do like all of the. Can you, you have to type the whole title. Oh, oh and if you if you get any word right, it'll fill in for you. Okay, take quiz. Okay. <laughs> uh, cheese. Uh, Scarecrow, oh, oh, I was going to do Scarecrow, but okay. Uh, Scarecrow, Terror, um, Monster, <laughs> uh, Haunted, Ma, oh wait, no, the voice done a mask. Um, oh my god, Careful. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the, uh, the ones we just one. saw. <laughs> oh, yeah, the ones that you did are chicken. I remember uh, egg. Bees, oh yeah. Egg, Monsters from Mars, Bees, Why I'm Afraid of Bees, uh, One, Day. Oh, yeah, Piano, Lessons Can Be Murder. Oh, I've already got it on there. Oh, I think. Um, oh my God. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know these, but I'm just like, uh, did I do Monster? Yeah, I did. Uh, why have I suddenly blanked on everything? Fly. What, about all, what about all the monsters that exist? Like, um, Mummy, ghost, vampire, werewolf. Uh, tomb. Uh, vampire breath is one. Are there witches? Mm, chicken, chicken has a witch in it, but I don't think there's one just specifically about witches. I've read so. I've read all of these. So like, how do I? I feel like I do know them, but I'm on the spot here. I'm on the spot. Oh, the lawn gnome. Oh, the lawn gnomes one. Yeah. Uh. I don't even remember what my favorite ones were now. Uh, be careful what you wish for. I've got. Oh my god, why am I blanking? I should be blanking. Oh, uh, Attack of the Mutant. I shouldn't have done that. Attack of the Mutant. Attack of the Chuckle Mountains. Uh, it's because this is like the American order and I'm thinking of the British order. Mm. Are there any animals? Cat, dog. Oh, hair. Oh, I've already got that one. Um, maybe dog? No. A bat? Bat? No. Mm. Oh my god, I should know these. <laughs> Some Cobics of Midnight, Attack of the Mutant, Ghost. I've had, I did Ghost, didn't I? There we go. Ghost. And clown? Are there clowns? Oh no, there isn't a clown one until Goosebumps Horrorland. Mm. Well, I'll give it a try anyway. No. Uh, I should know the earlier ones because. Snowman! The, Oh, a bottle of snowman of Pasadena. You buy the snowman. Oh, it's cool. Oh, um, something about sleep. And oh, wait, I've already got the sleep one. Don't go to sleep here. I've got that one. Uh, 60, 60 werewolf. 
skin. Nice. I'll have Fever Swamp. You know, I want to be good at it if I don't get all of them, but I don't think I will. Did you do like death and dead? Kill? Huh. Multiple two. What goes between multiple two and Scarecrow walks at midnight? Uh, there are some really stupid ones um, as well. I'm trying to think of the really silly ones. I found him in the auditorium, was another one you had. Uh, was there any more that you had that's not on here? My memory. My, mine too. <laughs> it just immediately left my brain, all the ones I just saw. Pumpkin? Was there pumpkin? Or jack-o'-lantern? Oh, there is jack-o'-lanterns on there, yeah. Uh, which I've already got. Number 48. Oh. Uh, I've... I'm going to kick myself. I just know it. I'm probably missing some that... I love as well. Okay, let me read the chat. Okay. I don't think they're they're telling. I, I think they're just giving ideas. Uh, Phantom curse. Curse. School. Hey, curse. Did you say tool? School. Oh, school. Nope. Night. Night. Oh, night living tummy. Oh my god! How did I not get night living tummy? Come <laughs> on. Dark. Dark. Someone said yeah. slappy. I don't think that's in a title, no. But we did get Night of the Living Dummy. That's what the chat had to share. Uh, oh, thank sink? you so much. Oh, it came from beneath the sink, yeah. Oh, so have I got Cuckoo Clock? Cuckoo Clock, yeah, Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Uh, oh my god, I've only got a few left. I don't think if you just type in the, it'll do anything. Oh, it did. Oh, it does. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, what about of and and? No. Fine. Well, that was so good. I didn't even think of doing the. Are there any um, colors like green or red? Light, red. Blue. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Pink. What about places like. Uh, school, some of the most... Bathroom. Some... Closet. You just have some generic ass titles as well. I'm just thinking of number six. I should know what number six is. Like, that's early goosebumps. I love early goosebumps. Oh, my dear. I'm trying to picture the covers now as well. The covers are so iconic. Bed. Look. Teacher. I know there's a creature teacher in series 2000. Well, I'm trying to help, but I can't see them in order on Goodreads. Um, evil? Evil. Nope. Oh, it says number six is my I am your evil twin. I must be looking at the wrong list. Win. Oh no, I think that's Goosebumps from series two thousand. Ten Sorry. seconds left. Oh my god, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Oh worms, go eat worms. Uh okay. Oh god. Okay, right. Okay, fortunately, these are some of my least favorite ones. Mm. So I'm kind of glad I didn't get them. Let's get invisible was terrible. Harry's adventure is terrible. How about my shrunken heads? Okay. Corn on creeps. Uh, it's all right. My best friend invisible. Terrible. It's literally just that story <laughs> all again. He rips himself off all the time. Hmm. Uh, I, I got all the ones that I love. So I got 94%. 92%. Oh, well, that was so much fun. Um, sorry for like doing that game at the end there because it did take a lot of time there. No, that was I great. I liked it. I liked it. Okay, I'll, we'll do uh, one final sprint. We'll make it a bit shorter so that we finish on time. Uh, where is my thing again? Share the, share the screen, Pomodoro. Well, thanks so much for the games. Uh, I Honestly, I love doing games. If I could, I'd just only do games during these reading sprints. But let's just do game sprints next time. Uh, we'll do 30. That will take us to 53. And then we'll have like seven ish minutes to to chat. Yeah. Okay. See how everyone else did. Uh, I think I need to refresh again. Let's Listen do a to... game night with like a whole group of us and we drink and then we play silly games. Oh my god, that's an amazing idea. Yes. We'll do it. We'll do it. I can already imagine the chaos that mm -hmm. would ensue. It is an A plus, so I I'm I'm happy about that. Okay, let's do our final sprint, and we will see you guys afterwards. Have a productive one, everyone. Bye.
just as we finish. <laughs> Perfect timing for it. You took out my attention. True. Remove plot. Um, how did everybody do in that final sprint? I hope it was productive. Mila, I hope you finished your book. <laughs> no. no, I got distracted by TikTok, Bad. which I think tells you that I'm not going to rate it anything above a three. Nope, absolutely not. It's not really, I mean, maybe 2.95, but definitely not a three. <laughs> I'll finish it soon. Yeah, yeah, and then you'll get on to bigger and better things. Exactly. I'm reading um, Vampires of El Norte next, which I think Ooh. is going to be good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Somebody read that recently who I watched and they did love it. Who was it? Mm. Oh no. I say I watched so many people just on my TV. I, I know we do. One, and I'm just like, I can't remember who said what or who recommended which book or where I got this recommendation from. They just, I just keep everyone on as if it's a future length movie. I oh, also oh. just watched somebody who liked it and I can't remember who it was. Oh, damn it. Well, it, it might be the same person. If you remember who it is, check your history, then I it'll probably remind me who it was. Uh, and also, yes, it will still stay on my channel. So no worries. You can always watch the sprints back, uh, watch the games back, have all the productiveness that you need on this Friday the 13th, or in the future if you're watching from the future. Uh, two chunks left of this week's book club selection. Perfect. Well, I only have, I think, like six stories left of this. One, two, three, four. No, five. I've only got five stories left of this. But the one I just read, I gave a 10. I gave a 10 out of 10. So definitely uh, the middle bit has just been so phenomenal. So I'm so happy about that. Exciting. I know. I'm going to have to try and finish it by the end of the month, though. Because now... I'm I'm just working on projects. And I'm like, stop it. You need to just continue reading for pleasure. Stop it. <laughs> I think Regan liked it. Uh, Steph loved it. I don't know. I don't know who it was. I don't know who it was either. I mean, I'm gonna have to go through my history as well. But the thing is, though, I'll just keep things continuously on a loop. It was probably a hundred videos ago. To be honest, uh, fifty pages of the animal spell. Perfect. I'm so glad you guys. Uh, got so much done finished a 2.5 star today where my good horror books on my tbr are at maybe that's the next thing. one yeah maybe the next one and i'm sure beth does have a pretty good october tbr from the tbr video i saw so there, there must be at least one of them on there surely surely have we read i who have never known men it's on my tbr shelf oh so Answers no, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Someday. Someday. Oh, Uzumaki, you're gonna love that. I and again, like if an alternate Kayla ever read it, I think I think an alternate Kayla would, would like it too. And if people have been commenting so much, they're like, So you're gonna create a TBR out of this video, right? And I'm like, I'm literally not. <laughs> I don't so know. Sorry. I feel like an alternate reality Kayla vlog reading them where you have to, I don't know. Just give those books a chance. I, I, I would watch it on repeat. I would give you the AdSense. I will, I will pay you for it. Do you want to be sponsored? Do you want to be sponsored by How to Train Your Cabin? Sponsor, sponsor me directly to make any video you want. That's. <laughs> I want that video. <laughs> I just start messaging other booktubers. I'm like, you can control what I read if you pay me, and I'll <laughs> give you a shout out. <laughs> What a business model. To have a little title screen. This is sponsored by Gavin. Watch his... <laughs> oh, my God, stop, because people will actually think it's going to be real. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, it, yeah. I mean, it would be silly. It would be silly. I've Never Known Man is one of my all-time favorite books. Okay. I'll, I might check it out then. Uh, also, this is... I'm reading this next month. Everyone in my family's killed someone. I'm reading it next month. Are you watching it? Are you reading it for something? Uh, Patreon book club. Oh, nice. I wanna, yeah, I but like, I, I missed it for October. I'm just saying that would have been so cool to have read in October, but it's going to be in November. We're going to continue scary things in November. If no, November is actually the perfect month to read it in. Oh, oh, well, perfect. It's, it's, like a, it's, a, it's a snowy book. Oh, oh, well, yeah, then I knew that. So I, I picked it up for November. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I that was uh, 
all live scream. I hope you guys enjoyed and we loved hanging out with you. I mean, I'm speaking for both of us because we are the same person. We are Casey exactly. Beckett. We share the brain cell. <laughs> we do share the brain cell. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for uh, hanging out with us during the games as well. I know it's sometimes not usually uh, what people come to read sprints for, but I, we like to change it up a bit every now and then, you know? I like that. Um, Kayla, are you doing any more live shows anytime soon or anything? Um, I have things for my channel members coming up. We're doing a movie night of The Final Girls, which Ooh. is like a horror comedy, I guess, from like 10 years ago. Um, I also am doing um, the Encyclopedia of Fairies live shows in November. So if you feel like hanging out and doing that. Yeah. A link, link in the description for Kayla's channel. Give Kayla a, check Kayla out, uh, join the members. Thanks so much and, for inviting me. But uh, well, this has been planned since March. I think it was March <laughs> when we first mentioned it, and I was just like, "Hey, we both have we both look like Casey Becker. Let's do it." Well, that's so it's been a long time coming, but it was it was so much fun. So thank you, Kayla, for spending time with me. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.